In this tutorial, I will show you how to use a test app to switch between your connected primary site and your secondary sites within a single test app build. Your primary site is where you will always generate your builds from, and your secondary sites can be used as testing environments, for example, as development or staging sites. If I click on build here, you can see that it tells us that new builds can only be requested from our primary site. The reason you can only create builds from your primary site is because the test app that gets built from your primary site can actually be used to test the data from all of the different connected sites. For this video, I'm assuming that you've already connected your primary and secondary sites and that you've already downloaded a test app onto your device. You can download a test app build from the builds page on your primary site. From here, I can filter by iOS or Android and by release app or test app. And then for any completed test app build, I can click on install test app to download this test build onto my device. We have other tutorials showing you how to connect your primary and secondary sites. We also have other tutorials showing you how to create builds and how to install test app builds onto both an iOS and Android device. So now let's jump into the test app that is connected to this primary site and to its secondary staging site. And from there, I'll show you how to switch between your connected sites from within the app. So this is the test app that is getting built from our primary site. Let's open it and see what happens. Right now we are viewing our primary site, which has this blue color scheme. At any time, I can shake the device to open up some on-screen prompts. I can do this before I log in or after I log in. Let's try it. And we can see two on-screen prompts. The first one is to switch our connected site. And the second button is for starting a development session. This feature to start a development session is very cool. This is for developers. It allows me to deploy custom code from my Git repository directly into this test app. So I can test the code in this app without having to create a new app build first. We'll explain more about how to do custom development in a separate tutorial. While doing development, or if I just wanna play with my branding or with my content, I can tap on switch connected sites to toggle which of my connected sites is being loaded into this app. Okay, let's tap on switch connected site and see what happens. We are brought into this page where we can toggle between my primary site and my secondary site. If I had multiple secondary sites, they would be listed here as well. So let's select my secondary site and I'll tap switch connection. And now we can see we're on our secondary site, viewing my secondary site's branding and data. And I can pick up the device and shake it again. And again, I can tap switch connected site. And now I can go back into my primary site. This feature is incredibly useful. It allows me to test this single app build against my primary site's data and all of my connected secondary site's data whenever I want.